the Jehovah's Witnesses have a huge problem. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 18 that if you predict something to happen in the name of the Lord God and it does not come to pass, then you are a false prophet and should not be listened to. Deuteronomy 18 specifically teaches us how to look out for false prophets. And in this video, we're going to be seeing how the Jehovah's Witnesses and their organization, the, the Watchtower, has led people astray and has tried to predict the world many, many times over and has failed each and every time, making the religion of the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Watchtower, which is their governing body, false prophets who should not be listened to and everyone who is a Jehovah's Witness should leave and should get out because the Watchtower has lied to you. They've predicted the world to end in 1874, 1914, 1915, 1918. They said Armageddon was going to happen in all of these years. And that's nothing to say about 1925, 1975, and many other years as well. They've literally predicted the end of the world to happen many times over and it hasn't. And so therefore, according to the Bible, they are false prophets who should not be listened to. And if you are a Jehovah's Witness, the Watchtower has deceived you. But don't take my word for it. Let's look at what the Jehovah's Witnesses themselves have to say. Throughout countless publications, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Watchtower, had said that the Armageddon was going to come in 1874. But then when it didn't arrive, they changed that and said that Christ's presence came in 1874 and Christ began to reign invisibly. So he truly came in 1874, but it was invisible and nobody saw him. They also went on to change that and say that the world was going to end in 1914. That 1874 is just the beginning of Christ's reign, invisibly, but it was actually going to culminate in 1914 with the Great Battle of Armageddon. Then World War I broke out, and over and over throughout the Watchtower magazines and the Watchtower books, they said that the world was going to end at the end of Armageddon, that this great battle was going to be the culmination of all the world's systems. And so you don't take my word for it. Listen to what they themselves had to say. They said, by 1914, the Lord will have control, full control. Gentile governments will be overthrown. Body of Christ will be glorified. Jerusalem will no longer be trodden, and Israel's blindness will be turned away. There will be worldwide anarchy, and God's kingdom will take the place of man's governments. They also went on to say, referring to World War I, that the present great war that is happening in Europe is the beginning of Armageddon, of the scriptures, Revelation 16, and it will eventually end in a complete overthrow of all the systems of error which have so long oppressed the people of God and deluded the world. So clearly they're saying that World War I was going to end with Armageddon. It was going to end everything and all errors. I mean, there are whole books indicating and outlining all of the failed predictions of the Jehovah's Witnesses, but one of my favorites comes from the 1892 January uh, Zion Watchtower, and it says that the Battle of Armageddon is going to end all things. And it goes into great detail to explain how this is going to happen. And it says that the Great War will lead the Protestants to join together into this huge unified religion. So they won't be denominations and they won't be sects anymore. They will be one Protestant uh, religion who the world will start to fear. And they will start to sympathize, the Jehovah's Witnesses said, with Rome. Again, this is back in 1914. This is supposed to happen. And they actually said that the Romans and the Protestants will get together and become one. And they together, as one huge grand army, will fight the Lord Jesus in the Battle of Armageddon. And they, who are falsely called Christendom will lose. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's too long, but it says that the various sects of Protestantism will band together as one, but that there will be also a close affiliation with Roman Catholicism. These two ends of the ecclesiastical heaven will roll together as one, as a scroll. The two roles, Protestantism and Romanism, 
coming closer and closer together as the power over the masses of the people decreases. And it goes on to say how Jesus is going to destroy Protestants and Catholics who are falsely known as Christendom, and Jesus will destroy Christendom all at the end of this war. But of course, Protestants are still around. They never banded together. Catholics are still around. Protestants and Catholics never joined together. I mean, they went through this elaborate scheme of what was going to happen, and nothing came to pass. All of the many, many, many predictions of 1914 that they made, none of them came to pass. In their book, Light for All Mankind, the Jehovah's Witnesses went on to say that people ridiculed the Witnesses and the Watchtower for their failed predictions. Listen to what it says. It says, All of the Lord's people looked forward to 1914 with joyful expectation. When that time came and passed, there was much disappointment. They were ridiculed by the clergy and by their allies in particular, and pointed to with scorn because they had said so much about 1914 and what would come to pass, and their prophecies were not fulfilled. Now, this is their own writings and literature saying that they did not come to pass. And again, Deuteronomy specifically says that if you say that something is going to come to pass in the name of the Lord and it doesn't, then you are a false prophet and should not be listened to. Now, most people would probably think that this was the end of it, but the Jehovah's Witnesses reinvented the dates and said that 1915 would be the end of all things, then 1918, and then 1925, and so on. In fact, listen to what it says from 1918. It says, in that year, 1918, God will destroy the churches wholesale and the church members by the millions. It shall be that any that escape shall come to the works of Pastor Russell to learn the meaning of the downfall of Christianity. Basically, Catholics and Protestants claim to be Christian, and Jehovah's Witnesses think they're the only Christians, and all the Protestants and Catholics are going to be wiped out wholesale by the millions, and guess what? It didn't happen. It didn't come to pass. It was fake. It was false. It was deluded. It's from the devil. If it's not from God, it's from the devil. And the Jehovah's Witnesses are from the devil. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying it because there are many, many, many deluded and lied to Jehovah's Witnesses who want to serve God and who mean well, but they've been deceived by the Watchtower and they need to get out and get out now because the Watchtower has failed them, has lied to them, has re- invented the date over and over and over. Originally, it was supposed to be 1874, 1875, 1876, 1879, 1914, 1915, 19... How many times can you reinvent the wheel? How many times can you say, oh, God's... Wrong? And in fact, the, the, the Watchtower said that these are divine dates, especially the date of 1925. It says it was of divine origin. And so if they're saying these are divinely inspired dates... And these are going to come to pass because God says so. Well, they're wrong. And they have been wrong. And they need to get out. They need to get out to religions that don't predict the end of the world. Because Jesus said that nobody knows the day or the hour. And in fact, 1925, they went on to say that you could expect the end of the world, the end of all things, to happen in 1925. And the date was more certain than even 1925. 14. And in fact, they said it's more certain they, they could put more faith in it than Noah put faith in in his day. 1925 was a huge date for Jehovah's Witnesses. They said that Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and all the great prophets of old were going to actually resurrect and come back to earth and walk on this earth and be resurrected physically, bodily on this earth, and everyone was going to see the end of the world starting in 1925. Listen to what they have to say. The scriptures definitely fix the fact that there will be a resurrection of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and other faithful ones of old, and that these will have their first favor. We may expect 1925 to witness the return of these faithful men of Israel from the condition of death, being resurrected and fully restored to perfect humanity and made visible legal representatives in the new order of the kingdom on earth. I could read to you many quotes about 1925. It was a long expected year. And the same thing with 1914. It didn't come to pass. And listen to what the Jehovah's Witnesses said afterwards in the 1975 yearbook. They said 1925 came and went. Jesus's anointed followers were still on earth as a class. The faithful men of old, Abraham, David, and others had not 
been resurrected to become princes of the earth, as they said they would be. So, as Anna MacDonald recalls in 1925, it was a sad year for many brothers. Some of them stumbled. Their hopes were dashed. Instead of being considered a probability, they read into it that it was a certainty, and some prepared for their own loved ones with expectancy for the resurrection. I wonder why they considered it a certainty. Notice they blame some individuals for saying it was a certainty, when in fact they were the ones propagating from the top down of the watchtower that it was going to happen, that we can confidently expect Abraham, Isaac, and Moses, that this date was fixed in scripture, that it was of divine origin, that we could await the end, all things were going to come to pass, we would see the these men resurrected and so on, but it didn't come to pass. And in fact, they went on to build a house called Beth Siram. You can look this up. It's still there today. And they said that this house, it means house of princes. They believed that Abraham and Moses and Isaac were going to live in this house and they built it as proof that the end was near. And when people saw them come back down and occupy this house, they would have the last laugh. But of course, it's been over 80 years since that time and nothing has come to pass. The Jehovah's Witnesses have been mocked. Originally, Charles Taz Russell, the one who originally made these predictions, was mocked. His wife divorced him. People ridiculed him. He said that this would be proof and everyone would be proven wrong, but he was proven wrong. His successor, Judge Rutherford, was proven wrong. The watchtower our society has been proven wrong. And in fact, the last time in 1975, they predicted the world to end and it didn't. Hundreds of thousands of Jehovah's Witnesses left the organization forever. They got out. They saw the writing on the walls and they were done with it. So I just want to challenge you, whether you've been born into the Jehovah's Witnesses or whether you've converted to the Jehovah's Witnesses, to get out just as the hundreds of thousands of people before you have. And if you would like to see why the whole timeline of the Jehovah's Witness fails and why they've had to reinvent it over and over and over and over again, even though they said it was of divine origin, Read this book, The Gentile Times Reconsidered, Chronology and Christ's Return. It literally goes through and shows all of the hundreds of thousands of errors in the Jehovah's Witness thought. And one of the highest people in the organization, second to the president himself, left and wrote a whole book called Crisis of Conscience, which I would recommend as well if you're interested in all the thousands and thousands of errors of the Jehovah's Witnesses, how they manipulate people, control people, play mind games, use fear tactics, and many other things to keep people in the religion. But I want to challenge you, as many people before you, to get out. And I know one Jehovah's Witness in particular who worked in the Watchtower for 12 years. He was a church starter. He went to other countries. He was one of the highest members in the church. Him and I are friends. He's a good Catholic today because he worked in the history department, the research department, and could not find information to substantiate the religion and the doctrines of the Jehovah's Witnesses, and he and his family and many other people who are high up in the organization have left. Don't be duped. Get out. Don't be duped by people who are controlling you and who have falsely spoken for God. The Bible says that they are false prophets. Don't be duped. Get out. And if you have questions, if you're struggling, if you just want to know more, talk about it, I will put you in contact with these people and you can talk to them for yourselves. They said they have never, ever been happier. They've never known Jesus more and they their only regret is that they didn't leave early enough. One of the particular people I'm speaking to has led hundreds and hundreds of people out of the Watchtower and into true Christianity. And he will just answer your questions. He can help you out or I can plug you into resources if if you want them. You can also check out these books. But please, consider this, and do not join the Jehovah's Witnesses. They are a false religion that was started in 1872 by an 18-year-old boy and not by Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to help us get the message out there, please put a comment down below, and please give this thing a like. Please 
kiss that like button nice and gently and lovingly as we as Christians do and help us to spread the gospel. Do your part. Help spread the gospel by giving it a like and sharing a comment down below and also possibly sharing it on your social media as well. This truth needs to get out there, so please share it on your social media. And if you can, please consider supporting our ministry. We are Catholic Truth, a nonprofit organization dedicated to teaching and preaching the true faith of Jesus Christ that has been down through the ages for 2,000 years. We do retreats, confirmation retreats, parish missions, keynote talks. We do TV and radio. We do evangelization initiatives. We have many books. We write books and literature. We have a podcast as we do here. We do a YouTube video and many other aspects of our ministry. So if you could help support our ministry and help us to reach souls for Christ, we would be eternally grateful. If you would like some of these false predictions, you can email us at info at thecatholictruth.org and we will send you some of the false predictions that we mentioned in this video and where you can find them to read them for yourselves. But email us if you would like to have these citations for free. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for many more videos on Jehovah's Witnesses that we have. You may also be interested in our videos on Mormons that we have. We have 10 things that Mormons will not tell you. And also some videos on why Mormons misuse the Bible in trying to get you to leave your faith. Thank you for watching and God bless.